Uh, good morning, Bruce. Um, you're starting goal tonight. Pardon me. You're starting goaltender tonight. Uh, Demko. <clears throat> what are you most anxious to see on this trip, Bruce? I mean, you've made so many remarkable gains, especially in special teams play. Uh, you've been diligent defensively. Is there one aspect of the game that you're really curious about to see an improvement on during this trip? Well, I'd like to see how we do against uh, uh, teams of this caliber in their building. Um, quite frankly, I mean, it's been a long time since we played and, you know, uh, we have played some good teams in the stretch here, but I don't think uh, none of the caliber that we're going to meet in the next seven games. So it's a, uh, uh, to me, seeing how we come out of this is going to be very important uh, uh, for us. You used uh, Bo Horvat, uh, obviously, a lot of times, Bruce, in a shutdown role, and he's been pretty good when you had him with Dickinson and, and Hoaglander in that capacity. You talked a lot about what you've come to learn of, about these various players that you've inherited, Bruce. Uh, what about Bo? Uh, what stands out to you as a coach, uh, not only Bo as a player, but as a person and a captain? Well, I mean, as a player, he he tries to do anything you ask him to do and he never complains, which is wonderful. I mean, I've had with different, uh, different line mates. Um, he's very intelligent. He defends well, but he's got a great flair for the offense uh, w when he has the opportunity. So, I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure I can put him in any situation I want and something good is going to come out of it. Uh, as far as a, a person, he's been so perceptive and um, easy to talk to, easy to approach. I ask him different things. He gives me straight answers. Um, he seems like he's really good with the teammates. Uh, you know, he brings brings the questions I ask to them to them. And uh, I mean, so far, uh, his practice habits are great. He does what a coach wants. I mean, uh, he's a great captain for me. We'll move to Ian McIntyre, Sportsnet. Hi, Bruce. With regard to what you said a couple of minutes ago about um, measuring yourself on this road trip, does it change your opinion at all or, or your your expectations that you guys haven't played in 10 days? Because I'm guessing the reality is you won't be quite as sharp as, as the opposition, at least in terms of execution initially. I guess that's what's happened in the past. I mean, I always expect us to be sharp. I mean, uh, uh, you look at it in uh, in terms of uh, uh, <clears throat> of other teams, and I think our energy level will be higher than than normal, which might offset for uh, maybe being not quite as sharp in the beginning. I mean, heck, uh, usually if you give a team a day off and the next practice isn't as good as the as the one when you've practiced the day before, so but my expectations are always that we're going to be as good as we were the last time out. And uh, uh, I, I, I haven't changed that. I don't come out there tonight and say, oh, OK, you know, we weren't that good because we didn't play. That's that's an excuse that I don't believe in. I think we've practiced really hard. So we're not um, uh, not not sharp. So I, I anticipate us to be good. And uh, you said uh, in Vancouver a couple of days ago that you'd think the guys would be pretty eager to play. Are you seeing that now that the team's back on the road and had a practice and a semi skate today? Well, I think they're certainly tired of practicing and I think a game will be really good for them. And uh, uh, you could see it yesterday that they're excited about the fact that they get a chance to play. And uh, so hopefully that excitement means that we're going to play really well. We'll move to Jay Janauer, Global. Bruce, good morning. Um, I know chatting with the guys yesterday, they talked about the fact of, of practicing and getting to, to, to use to your systems more. Do you find after, you know, basically having a training camp for a week that they have a better grasp of how you want them to play? Did you see that at the, the last few practices? I think they're they're uh, pretty cognizant of, of, of how I want them to play. For the most part, there's still a lot of fine uh tuning that you don't get to do right off the bat like a, a lot of different stuff on face-off plays and and such that we're just going on uh, going over on on video which we haven't really gotten to uh, on the ice yet but I mean uh, those things take time I was lucky enough to be in at least 
in the other cities I was in at least four years and, and teams didn't get it all the time until, you know, maybe even the second training camp and, and understanding exactly the way I think and what I want. So uh, it's not going to happen overnight, but they sure have, have taken to the, the way we're playing and what I'm trying to accomplish. So it's or trying for us to accomplish. And uh, so hopefully that'll continue tonight. I know that uh, the first week that you were on the job, you're a big fan of, of short shifts, and I know you really stress that. Is that something you're going to stress again tonight because of the layoff, Bruce, is, is short shifts and, and maybe trying to get all four lines in as quick as you can? I think it's the only way we can we can play. Like, I mean, quite frankly, I mean, when you haven't played for uh, 10 days, I mean, uh, the adrenaline's going to run out of the body pretty quickly. So, and once that happens, you get, a, you get pretty tired pretty quick. So, I mean, uh, we're going to have to go hard, which I'm sure we will, but we're going to have to go short, which we've been doing a very good job at. Uh, as a matter of fact, over nine games is probably better than any team I've ever coached on on the short shifts and the, and the ice times as uh, uh, the time lengths of them. So if we, I think we have to continue that up if we want to play a team that's as fast paced as uh, Florida is today.